What is up, guys? I'm going to do a knife review today on a couple knives that's been done over and done over since they came out. A couple Walmart knives. I'm going to have a cigar to bark. A special. It's one of my favorite cigars. But, uh, we'll get into it here. Man, there are so many new knives coming out. And, and in places you wouldn't even dream of. You know, Walmart's had a few few good knives with some of their Ozark trails even. It's it's just crazy. I don't know. I've I've got a couple Ozark trails that are pretty good knives, really. For what they are, hell they're only like five or ten bucks. I don't know. They're cheap. Very cheap. But uh let's see if a stupid lighter will work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is what we got. Oh, that is a good cigar. You ever, you ever get a chance to try one of these to bark? The Speciales. It's the Dulce Deuce. <laughs> Deuce. Anyway, D-U-L-C-E. Dulce. I, I don't know. That's what it is. Man, if you ever get a chance to try one of these cigars, dang, they're so good. Such a good cigar. All right. Uh, let's get back to the knives. All right, Swiss Tech. Swiss Tech. I've done a little video on this one. I didn't even do an unboxing on that one. I figure I kind of do an unboxing on this one. So, all right, let's get these cigars out of the way. Get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. Okay, so this is the uh, full tang, like bushcraft style knife. You know, I've I've uh, I've showed this a few times. Done a little work with it on another video. It's a great little knife. I mean, there's not much to talk about. It's it's Aus 8 with a titanium finish. And it has two slabs of my card on either side of it, you know. It's got a little red accent there. It came with a little lanyard. You can run through it, but I figured I didn't need one. Not on this knife, anyway. Uh, the clip is interesting. I've carried this thing a lot now since I've had it. The clip, yeah, it rotates. You can carry it however you want. But it's a piece of junk. I don't know. It is what it is. But I don't know. I carry it on my side. And before I know it, it's like this or it's like that. I don't know. Best way i found to carry this is to turn it around like this and stick it in my left pocket. With this, you know, inside my pocket. That, uh, or, or if I'm wearing cargo shorts or cargo pants, put it in the leg pocket like that. But anyway, that's just me. Pretty good sheath, really good retention. Good knife, good knife, I, I like it. The Aus 8 Steel's hold, held up well. It has a flat grind. Well, it's like a saber, because it doesn't go all the way to the top. So it's not a flat grind, it's what I would call a saber grind. It's got a little notch right here for your ferro, uh, ferro rod to, you know, make your fire, but got a little jipping on it. Anyway. You've all seen this knife. This is the this is the little brother to it. It's the Swiss Tech. The Swiss Tech War Dig. Swiss Tech War Dig. I guess that's the way you would say it. W U R D I G. Streamlined flipper knife. Uh, ceramic belt, ball bearings, all state steel, canvas micarta handles, thumb disc plus flipper. All right, comes in this nice box, magnetic. You open it up, you know. Then you open it, open it, open it again this way. Then pull the plastic off, and then you can get to the knife. It has this little clip or a little ah, safety thing, so you don't cut yourself. And then I don't know. I don't. I don't care about boxes. Who cares? 
It's just a dang box. I don't care how fancy it is. I really don't care. I just care about the product on inside. You know, it works. It flips great. It, it's a great flipper. It's got ball bearings. I've oiled it, you know, put a little bit of ballast oil in, inside of it. Man, it's a great little knife. This is, it's, it's got a relative, uh, it's not quite a deep carry clip on it. But uh, this one's, this one's been reviewed over and over also. It's a great knife though. It lines up nice and straight inside, you know, inside the scales. I like the red accents just, just like I do on this knife. But uh, I don't know, the, the thumbs, the thumb disc thing that, it's almost, I don't know, you can kind of use it, but it sets in so close to the knife handle, it's hard to get your finger or your thumb in there to actually use it. And the flipper mechanism on it works so well, why, the, why would you even use the disc? I think they just put the disc on there just to add, add a little bit of pop, you know, a little bit of zing, uh, just some color, you know, is what I'm getting at there. But... It's a, it's a great little knife for 20 what is it, $27? I don't remember. I'm going to talk when my cigarette's gonna, cigar is going to go out. But yeah, like $27, bucks, 29 I don't know, something like that. Great little pocket knife. Now this is, uh, for me, this is as small as I like to go with a pocket knife. Now, if it's like a three-blade stockman, like a case or a old timer or Uncle Henry, you know, a slip joint knife. There we go. If it's a slip joint knife, then yes, it can be smaller. Like uh, your Victorinox, your uh, Swiss Army knives. You know, they can be smaller, the little slip joints. But when it comes to a, to a lock blade of any sort, that's as small as I want to go. You know, I figure if I'm carrying a lock blade, I, I'm going to be doing something relatively serious with it, and it needs to be a relatively serious knife. This is almost on the small side for serious work, you know. Uh, we'll compare it to its big brother here. We'll set them up here. Let you see. There you go. I mean, that's it. They are, uh, they're both great knives, you know, and they're both, I think, the same price. I'm pretty sure they're both 30 bucks. So for 60 bucks, you got a pocket knife, you got an outdoors knife. And, you know, the canvas micarta that they use on these handles, they're nice. It has a lot of texture, believe it or not, which it needs texture because this knife here ain't got nothing, you know. This one really don't either. It's just got a little bit of a finger guard there from the blade for your flipper, you know. But they have great texture. The, the, I just love the feel of the micarta on both of these knives. It's, it's really almost sandpaper-like feel. But anyway, these two knives have been done over and over again. Uh, they make a machete, and now they're making a hatchet, Swiss Tech is. And uh, it's a hatchet, and I don't know, it's got some other crap with it. And the machete, I ain't sure if it don't have some other crap with it. I, I just happened to see it on, uh, on Walmart.com the other day when I was browsing through knives. That Swiss Tech does make a, a machete and a hatchet. But this is as far as I'm going to go with the company Swiss Tech. Uh, I, the hatchet and the machete, they don't enthuse me. for. You know, I just don't like the looks of them. So this will be my set of Swiss Tech. I'm not going to buy any more. This is it, unless they come out with something really, really cool. But these are the two coolest things that I've found so far. I really like this. I like it a lot. The sheath with that rotating bullcrap, I don't know. I don't much care for that. But... The pocket knife, yeah, by all means, it's it's a nice little pocket knife. I'm 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 like, you know, I haven't really seen any bad reviews on either one of these online. They're they're both great products, I believe. But uh, you know, I haven't used this one hardly at all to do anything. I just got it the other day. But uh, I I have used this one some, and I, I really like it. I was I was pretty impressed with it. The the Aussie steel I think will hold up great. You know, for what it is, it's a budget steel. It is what it is. But, uh, yeah, this one this one came really, really sharp. This one's sharp, but it's not quite not quite shaving sharp. It's just, I don't know. I'll probably end up putting it on my, I'll probably end up stropping it. I'll probably have to strop it pretty good. 
to get it like I want it, but it's 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 close. It's it's sharp. Don't get me wrong. It's just not gonna. It's not quite hair popping sharp. I will say that. But anyway, there's the Swiss Techs. I just wanted to. I don't know. Talk about Swiss Tech. I suppose. All right, guys. I'm gonna get off here or get out of here, and I'm gonna finish my cigar, and uh, we'll see you.